Hi, if you're new, I'm happy to have you here and I hope you find my videos useful and like and subscribe. If you're not new, welcome back and thank you so much for your continuous support. I'll be going over my Holy Grail goat brushes today. This is a long overdue, highly requested video that I didn't film for the longest time because I'm a creature of habit and my favorites rarely change. Most of these brushes are in my first goat favorites video. I think monthly favorites would better show you what I'm currently enjoying, so I'll try to do those more. I decided to narrow it down to one brush in each category to make it easier so you're not overwhelmed with too many options. I have sensitive combination skin and have been focusing on base, which is a tinted moisturizer or BB cream, powder, highlight, and blush for the face lately. For base, I prefer to either smooth the tinted moisturizer on with my fingers, a Kalinsky brush like the Chikohoto G12 when my skin doesn't need much coverage, or a beauty sponge for BB creams, so I don't have a holy grail foundation brush to share with you, but I did used to really like the Koyudo Fupa, Fupa 7P. I've also heard great things about the Bishoto foundation brush, so I'll link it below. The Hakuhoto J104 is my holy grail powder brush. It has a round head with a flat top. It's quite large, so it's perfect for people who are in a rush as it covers a large surface area. It's made out of undyed psychoho and soft. I'm not sure what they use to make it now, but my hairs feel like psychoho. The hairs are 50 millimeters long, which is the perfect hair length. Anywhere between 45 millimeters and 50 millimeters with the medium density for round brushes, I pretty much like. It's medium in density and flexibility, and the hairs are densely packed. Although it's densely packed, it feels kind of airy when you use it, and that's because the hairs are so long. So the longer the hairs, the more airy you'll feel and it doesn't splay out too much on the face. I don't like it when bristles splay out too much on my face. I swirl it all over my face and it provides medium coverage. It gives a flawless finish without looking cakey or heavy. It never crossed my mind to buy a backup of this brush and now I'm regretting not buying it. It was difficult to pick a favorite blush brush, but the Chikohoto Takumi T4 made it to my number one. I love this more than the Hakuhoto J110, which is a paddle shape. The T4 is a medium sized Psycho blush brush. It's a pom-pom shape that fits nicely on the apple of the cheeks. It's soft, and I think it's the softest brush in the Takumi series. It's pretty dense, but since the hairs are 35 millimeters, it applies less intensely compared to a brush with shorter hairs like the Hakuhoto J210, which I don't like at all. <laughs> it also has medium flexibility, and it has a good amount of resistance. One of my favorite blushes of all time is Hourglass's Incandescent Electra, and I feel like the T4 and Incandescent Electra were made for each other. The T4 picks up and applies the blush beautifully with a youthful glow. The finish is pigmented but soft at the same time. It blends easily and doesn't overblend or diffuse the blush. There's a reason why I've consistently recommended this brush as well as the J104 over the years, repeatedly. <laughs> if round shapes aren't your cup of tea for powder and blush, then I would recommend the Hakuhoto Kokutan MG and J110 instead. I also really like those brushes and they're in my original Goat Favorites brush video as well. The Hakuhoto J531 I tried for bronzer when I first got it and stuck with it ever since. It has a flattened oval pinched ferrule with an angled head. I typically don't like angled brushes, but this is my favorite out of all the ones I've tried. And the size is on the larger side. This wasn't in a brush guard, so it's fluffed up to the full capacity right now. It's dense with medium flexibility. I usually use it straight out of the brush guard since I prefer targeted bronzer. If you like bronzer in a larger surface area, then don't keep it in a brush guard. The hairs are a tad coarser than the J104, but that allows it to pick up medium to hard press products a little bit better. So it's, there's not a big difference, it's just very minimal. It applies lightly to medium and diffuses the bronzer to give an even and smooth finish. You can also use it for powder, but I exclusively use it for bronzer. I also have an obsession with round tapered brushes, so my favorite highlighter brushes are the Hakuhoto J5521 and NARS Small Brightener. I couldn't decide between the two, which is why I'm including both. NARS unfortunately discontinued the Small Brightener in the US, but you can still purchase it if you're in Europe. I think Hakuhoto really hit home when designing this brush. My favorite tapered brushes are the ones with voluminous bodies and a short taper, which these both have. They're medium size for cheekbone highlight and they're both dense and can pick up a lot of product at once. Since I prefer intense highlight, they really fit the bill. They apply and blend smoothly, and they have medium flexibility as well, and both are very soft. 
I have a backup of the J5521 and regret not getting a backup of the small brightener when I should have a couple years ago, just like I should have with the J104. I usually reserve Grace Girl powder brushes for finishing powder, but I also really like the Koyomo Nadeshiko Pink Pearl powder brush for powder and finishing. The Hakuhodo J602PI is a retractable travel angled blush brush. It's a dense angled brush and the hair length is the same as the T4 at 35 millimeters. It's soft but picks up product well. I like to use it with Tom Ford's Frantic Pink Blush, which is medium pressed and it picks up and deposits color wonderfully. I always travel with it and love the finish it gives. Did you guys like my condensed version of my updated favorites? It wasn't really updated since I still really love these brushes. Uh, but I'm also thinking about doing the scroll version of, you know, like the condensed version of the part two scroll brush favorites that I had a couple years ago. Just instead of showing you like 20 scroll brushes, I'll show you like five. So let me know what you guys think if you want to see something like that. And that concludes my Holy Grail goat face brushes. So I'm really interested in what your guys' Holy Grail goat brushes are. So please let me know in the comments and please like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.